Alrighty, let's get started with these packs here. So we have 60 packs, 53, The Whispered of the Old Gods, and 7 Classics. This is going to be a long journey, so let's get started. It's late here, so I won't be speaking too loudly uh, once we get going here. Hopefully we get some new stuff. I actually had to play a bunch of challenges to get these packs, and it was really hard because I didn't have any good decks. So a lot of these cards are going to be pretty new unless you saw the set list, which then you might have read some of the cards that are in here. I guess on a, the first couple ones of these, I'll probably go pretty slow. Just a rare. Just to see the different cards. These are all for Seathun. This is like a huge card. Oh, no. Eh. Taunt, battle cry. Yeah, this is this is a good card. I like that. It's not amazing, but it's it's good. Um, this one's crazy. Random target for the mage. Obviously, Seathune just seems to be such a big part of this expansion. It's, it's not even like the Whispers of the Old Gods to me. It's like the Seathune expansion because that's what everything's all about. Oh, I, I wanted this card, Forbidden Ritual. All the Forbidden cards are really cool, so I'm happy I got this, especially because I'm a big Warlock player. I won't even... Uh, we'll do Rapid Fire. Just getting all rares right now. Whenever a character is healed, give your seat to him 1 plus 1. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, 1 plus 1 isn't a lot for a heal, because a heal takes, obviously, like 2 mana normally so like usually that would be like a two two kind of stat but fair enough at least after this i'll be able to put some actual decks together unlock your overload mana crystals okay it looks like they've been saying people have been saying that shaman got pretty buffed in this expansion so with that card um, and I'm sure a lot of other ones like that. This this is awesome, especially only being a two mana cost that I'll be able to play Shaman a little bit more. Uh, like you could play this on the four turn, on your four turn, and then on turn five, you could play this and another minion and just be stacked off the bat. That's insane. A storm crack. This card is... Hmm... And do do this pirate card is interesting. I kind of tried to do a pirate rogue for a while, and uh, it worked okay. You need a lot of good pirate cards. Deal two damage to all non murlocs. Oh, nice. This is pretty sweet. But a six. Wow, that's a lot of mana. I don't know. A nice warrior card for the patron, but that's still like an eight combo. If you want patron and that card, so that's a lot. Let's keep doing that. So we're seven down. Pretty much all rares. We got a golden card and an epic. Deal two damage. This card looks sweet. Deal two damage and give your seat on two plus two. The only thing I don't like is that it's three mana, but it has to be for these kind of stats. But this is really cool, like board clear. It pretty much, I think it's good unless you're playing a mage. Uh, oh, for, uh, for a two cost, that's that's pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see how many of these Seathun cards get used. Any legendaries? Any legendaries? Anybody? Anybody? Double card here. Just more Seathun bus cards. This card looks really good. It's a divine shield. So then you could you know maybe buff this potentially. You've seen a lot of people use Evolve. Especially when you have um, a lot of totems out with the, sh the Shaman, you just play Evolve. And if you have like two of those stacked. I actually had a lot of people do that against me, but then again, I ended up beating them, so I don't know how good it is. This kind of sucks. But I guess it gets your weapon out early. But man, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I thought this was for Rogue. Okay, it's for Warrior. It's not terrible. This card is going to be one of the best cards to use, especially on like Hunter Beast. 
Um, this death rattle is awesome. It's a lot of value for that card. Which is pretty sweet. Oh nice, two rares. And the garbage men behind me. I don't know if that's going to get picked up. Picking up my garbage. Whenever this minion takes damage, give your seat to one plus one wherever it is. So for three six, it's going to take damage once or twice. So then you're going to get a one plus one or two plus two in your seat on. I don't see the value in that card whatsoever, especially if it just gets removed. I don't like that card. Don't think I'll be using it. Two rares. Another evolve and this doom caller. Give your seat on two plus two wherever it is. If it's dead, shuffle into your deck. That card is sick and could be played for sure. That, that's pretty dope. Because I notice after your Seaton dies, if you play one of those cards, it still gets the buff and it pops up on the corner of your screen. So I would really like to have that card in my deck. And it's going in. I'm putting it in. All right, so let's see. Two rares. Getting a ton of rares now. Like two, uh, I've gotten two in a couple, a bunch of packs. Give all your minions death and mm, death rattle. It's not a lot of great like death rattle cards now that they removed a bunch from the game. And gain one plus attack for other card in your hand. So this is like the opposite of a Twilight Drake. This card, it because it can get taken out easier and still immune to silence. It's debatable, but. Um, definitely really fun that they, they kind of, I don't know if it's lazy or fun that they did this, but they did the opposite of a lot of cards. They did like the opposite Ragnaros where it heals you for eight, a random character for eight on your team or on your board. And then the opposite of Twilight Drake. That's cool. So what we did 14 and just like one or two epics. So nothing, nothing too amazing here. There's always been these horror stories of people who buy like the 40 packs or whatever and they don't get a legendary. The odds of it happening are like really low. But this could be me today. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. That is dope. Especially against like a shaman when they rush decks or like a zoo uh, warlock. That's awesome. Draw a card, add two extra copies into your hand. That's sweet for rogue, especially if people are doing like some kind of weird mill rogue. Two rares again, so we're just like crushing the rares. And a golden one, your weapon costs two less. This could be pretty nice if you're really going for those large weapon ones. I'm still a huge fan of this card. Oh, Death Rattle gives your weapon two attack. I like that. It's hard to ensure that your weapon will be up, but that's awesome. Just free stats, pretty much. Um, four for four, four is whatever. Normally it'd be like a four or five if it was like a chill wind yeti. Let's do one of these, see if we can switch our luck up here. Alright, no such luck yet. Basically, by these seven packs, I'm just trying to get some cards that I haven't or, or some nice dust. Alright, so let's do some rapid fire here. Just rare. Rallying Blade, give one plus one to your minions with Divine Shield. Again, like these kind of cards, like how many Divine Shields are you going to have? But there is the potential, and either way, a 3 2 for 3 isn't terrible. So, um, potentially usable, but I don't know if I would put it into my deck. Maybe. It depends if you really have a lot of Divine Shield, then I guess it's worth it. Um, ooh, I wanted to do something different with this card. Oh, we finally got an Epic. You can only attack if your hero attack this turn. Interesting, so this would only really be for like a Rogue or maybe Warrior Paladin type deck. I definitely don't like that card. Um, summon a 5-5 five, five Faceless Destroyer. Hmm, For playing four mana and this could just get silenced. I don't know if I like that card. It's definitely a little strange, that's for sure. Unless you're putting into like a warrior deck where you're damaging yourself. But then why wouldn't you just play a 5-5 five, five card? It's The risk there just doesn't really make sense to me. Unless I'm missing something. You know, obviously, as the game goes on, we're going to see the crazy combos that nobody expected. More creative combos. Another evolve. Bunch of low, there's a lot of low mana cards. It seems like in this deck. I mean, in this expansion, it seems like 
A lot of it is going to be kind of like a faster pace or like zoo oriented. And then there's also like the seat done, like that, which is also kind of like a warrior, like, like waiting for the end game, stalling the games out and stuff like that kind of play. And then you get really aggressive once seat done's out because he's going to do so much damage. Darkshire Librarian. Is that what that says? Battle card, discard, random card, death rattle, draw card for Warlock. There is like that discard a card Warlock deck, which this could be pretty interesting in. More card. It needed. It needs more cards. So with cards like that, maybe it's usable now. Depends how many more they put in the game. Give me Seatone 3 plus 3. I like this card still. I think I got that one before. This card is kind of pointless for a 10-10. Um, just like a vanilla card, as some people say. Discover a Death Rattle card for 1. Okay. Not bad. Especially when you have like a spell spell kind of rogue deck. That's really nice. So we're down to 30. Oh, was I doing my math wrong before? Or did we have 47 of those? No, we did have 47. Restore 8 health. No, I definitely don't want to play that. I don't like playing these kind of cards. Um, I, I mean, I guess if you had like a Shadow Priest, you could. But we're, so we're 17 down on this, and we did one of the uh, originals. And no legendaries yet. So wow, what a kind of boring uh, uh, pack opening. But what are you going to do? Hammer of Twilight, summon a 4-2 elemental. Oh, I like that a lot. That's pretty sweet. So you're getting potentially 12 damage here. And even if they can clear that, that's fine. But for 5 damage, I, I like that. I like this card. I, I think I would use it. Another gold card. Getting a decent amount of like gold and a lot of rares. But still no legendary. This battle cry card again, but not in gold. Interesting. All right, let's wave this one around. Bring us some look. Just two rares. Again. This spell damage to me just for two isn't enough for this to be a four mana card. The normal one obviously is a two drop. It's a two two with one spell damage so it's just not enough for me but the shatter is cool for freeze mage and this is still a cool fucking card so we're getting pretty far in this pack this uh unboxing <laughs> digital unboxing here and we ain't getting shit deal five damage to an undamaged character that's not bad for three i like that definitely pretty cool Whenever your friendly minion dies, give your seat one plus one, wherever it is. Uh, it would be good in like a zoo seat on deck, potentially. Um, potentially. Taunt, summon a two to slime. Oh, I like that. Uh, do I like that? It'd be four, five. No, I don't like that. I don't like that card. I take it back. I don't like you. Give me one plus attack. Oh, it's the same thing. The Twilight Drake, but opposite. Let's do a classic. If I get a fucking classic legendary, then I'm gonna be mad. Cause I probably don't need it. Epic. Bane of Doom deals two damage to a character that kills it, summon a random demon. I think I have that card. But I don't know if I've used it. Alright, let's go backwards here. There we go, legendary. Hogger, Doom of Elwyn. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2-2 Null with Taunt. Hmm. Okay, so. I'm not a fan of these cards in general. If you're playing this in a warrior deck or a deck where you can do damage to yourself, potentially, I get it, but having 6 health isn't a ton. There is a chance that, you know, it's going to get hit a couple times more than once right especially with a lot of people playing these low decks but the best bet is that you at least get one but if it gets silenced you won't but you could probably assume that you'll get at least one of them giving this card 8-8 eight, eight, and then part of it getting taunt so 
eh, whatever. Um, definitely not the best one, but at least we got one in our books here. I guess I would try to potentially incorporate that into my deck, but in a normal deck, I just, I feel like if you're trying to play a top tier deck, that probably wouldn't fit in, but it's not like I make top tier decks. Draw a card, add two extra copies of your hand, another one of those, that's pretty sweet. Summon a random three cost minion. This card is dirty. That's really nice. And the mage deck, spend all of your mana. This card is what I've been waiting for. I'm happy I got this finally. I uh, definitely want to put this into my mage deck for Flame Walker. I think this card is one of the cooler cards. And I said these forbidden cards are really sweet. Uh, it just gives you so much, so many options to when you want to use it, how you want to use it. It's a free spell. It fits perfect with Flame Walker, any spell kind of deck. It's just. It's a great card. And what's great about it is, is I don't even think it's that overpowered. Maybe it is a little bit. Uh, it's just a, a very cool deck. And I don't know. If, it just fits really well. But it might be a little overpowered. Because you could just do like... Well, no. Because if you do six damage for a fireball, it's four. So if you want to do four damage with this, you're losing six mana crystals. But just the flexibility to play it at any time... And with any kind of different mana it is really nice so yeah definitely not overpowered just a cool cool card but sorry too long on that i digressed a, ta a wee tad whenever a friendly minion dies yeah fuck off card fuck it off mate bloody hell fucking cards fucking cards man polluted hoarder Polluted hard. Cyclopean horror. Use one ugly bastard, mate. I'm just switching accents. Am I Scottish? Am I British? Am I British, mate? I'm not really sure. Taunt. Battle crawl. Gain one health for each enemy minion. Okay, I can kind of get down with that. I can kind of get down with this card. People probably think it's trash, but... I can get down with that. If they have that enemy minion, enemy board has four enemies, then you get a 3-7 for four mana, and it's a taunt. I'm definitely down with this card. I'm definitely down with that. All right, where are my legendaries at? It's Fiery Bat. Um, I heard some people saying, like, this is, like, flight, flight, uh, what is it, Knife Juggler, but one time. And a lot of times, Knife Juggler gets cleared anyway, so this is just, like, a cheaper knife juggler so pretty cool but only one health but interesting transformer friendly minion into a random one that costs one more interesting so they're really going with this like evolve mechanic or transform mechanic with the sh shaman deck which is interesting interesting take on it it's an interesting new idea blizzard tell me more about it the shaman deck is already always kind of felt like I know it has its totems and has its like overload but it's just like the redheaded stepchild of Hearthstone well no you know what that's like rogue rogue's like the redhead stepchild shaman's just like the weird gothic class off in the corner but sometimes it's like really OP what the fuck is this oh this is a classic pack I was gonna say what the fuck were all those cards I just got Secret explosive trap, gold. Okay. Well, that's not doing anything for me. Sorry, guys. Control pirate, give your weapon one plus one. That's cool, and I like that it's a pirate. I could definitely make a pirate. Oh, fuck, it's for a warrior. What the fuck? Why would they do that? That should be a rogue card. Bruh. I guess, actually, pirate warrior... There's, I, I used to run a pretty strong pirate warrior deck with like weapons and then you get the the Dead Sea Pirate or whatever it's called where you put the weapon out and then he costs like nothing and he's a taunt. Okay, so maybe maybe it's doable. But like these decks just to me probably aren't going to be like high tier ever. But I don't mind like that. I'm not like going for that all the time. The highest tier decks. Sometimes I would like to just have fun. And do my daily challenges with the class I have fun with, like a pirate rogue or pirate warrior. Another doom caller, which is good. 
I would definitely consider putting this into my deck because if you could, well, I don't think you'd ever be in this position where you'd want to play Sita and really more than once now that I think about it, and that definitely not more than twice. So I guess you wouldn't play this. But then again, if you're playing like a, a Mino deck and you're going up against like a Handlock Warrior, whatever, you know, like one of these Handlock decks that goes on forever, then this could definitely be pretty cool. And a lot of times when you get farther down the ladder, the rank ladder, you play against decks that that are like that, that are very handlocky or like uh, fatigue decks. Man. What was the word I was looking for, I guess? Added Grizzly. After you summon a minion, give it one plus one. All right, I don't know. That's okay. Death Rattle, do one damage to all minions. That's interesting for all classes too. Wow. So like with the patron style deck or, or uh, any card that goes off damage like that. That's huge. Oh, this is the new summon. Silverhand 5, Silverhand Recruits. But there's no weapon attached. Interesting. Can a brother get one more legendary? Oh, okay, so two rares and epic. Spend all your mana restored twice that much in health. That's pretty dope. I like that card. Another forbidden card that's interesting. This mage card is awesome. And this card is... For a one card, I like that. Rogue needs a card like that. That's awesome to compete with other uh, classes. I was going to say, is this another fucking two rare decks? Packs? If Seatone has at least 10 armor, gain 10 armor. 10 attack, gain 10 armor. Which is definitely doable. I get him up to 10 attack a lot. So that's awesome for the warrior deck. Definitely would put that card in. Deal one damage to a mini if it survives. Summon a one, a two-two slime. Interesting. Even if you use that on yourself, that's pretty sweet too. Or against the enemy, it's, it's a nice card for a one drop. Now they're feeling bad. They're just giving me some epics, but they don't feel bad enough to give me a legendary. Swap stats with a friendly minion. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Is there something I'm missing here, mate? Is there something I'm missing? Or why would you want to change stats with your own character? Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Someone tell me if you understand why you'd want to do that. Because I'm not getting it. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Interesting. This card I like because uh, it really makes you want to take it out. So it's, it basically has like a taunt. Um, and I don't know, when other people play it, it pisses me off because I want to get rid of it really quick. Um, obviously, this is... For a priest, it's not that bad because it's got three damage. You can take it out with one of your kill at any enemy with three attack. But otherwise, this card is kind of strong. Not strong, but it's good. Decent. It's like the spider tank, but with it a with a um, another stat on it. Oh, here we go. Jeez, I was gonna say, am I really gonna have to end this video being like, well, after sixty packs, I got one legendary. What the fuck is that? Yashar Rage Unbound. At the end of your turn, put a minion from your deck into the battlefield. At the end of your turn. Okay, sweet. So basically you get to play two minions with this or an extra minion is played with this all right thank god this people probably hate this card but i would use this card basically like you if you have a lot of high cards like a warlock or a druid deck this is dope i'm definitely putting this in my druid deck i'm opening 60 packs <laughs> will most likely be putting this on the YouTubes. Right, right, let's be honest. Put it on the YouTubes. If your C-Tone has at least 10, 
Attack, getting 10 armor, another one of these. I saved up a bunch and then bought 40. That's what I did, man. Oh, nice, another gold card. Death Rattle, summon a 1 1 Shadow Beast. Would I put this card in my Warlock deck? Definitely not the one I have now, but nice, another Forbidden Flame Knight. Two of those. Definitely going to try that out in my Flame Walker deck and see how that works out. I forgot how long it's going to take. It's already 12 15 in the morning. I have work tomorrow. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? It was just three rares and an epic and two golds. What the fuck? Face of Shambler Taunt, Battlecry copy of Friendly Minion Attack and Health. That, that I'm down with because it has Taunt. Excuse me. So if you take a any card, if you have a bigger card, that's sick. I'm about to put that and the other 1010 in my, ooh, it was a 1010. I was going to say my Druid deck, but if it, if it draws this card, then it's going to it's going to go onto the battlefield with a 1-1. One, one. But it's a risk you take, but that's sweet. If you, that's in like a Druid deck and you just pick up another big uh, card and then you, it has an automatic taunt, it's really nice. And with like Owlbeak going up, it will be harder for people to like rush past um, taunts because I don't know, people might be losing, using less silences. Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Or a big game hunter as well, if it's a big card with a lot of attack. Two, five for three. Eh. It's not terrible. I think this card is underrated because it's just a one mana card. It's pretty nice. But I'm not a big Paladin deck player. I don't have a lot of the cards. Like secret, to make like the perfect secret Paladin deck. Oh, the duplicates. The start of your turn, double its minions attack. That's... Uh, it depends. If you have a big taunt style deck, that could be interesting. So at, it would, next turn it would be four, then eight. Then once you're at eight, it's cool. And then after eight, it's just getting crazy. Oh shit, what the fuck? I did not see that out of the corner of my eye. Equip a random weapon. Okay. That has the potential to be not that great, but I guess it is. I'm assuming people like this card. I, d I did not see this card. I haven't seen it at all. The Malkarok. Yeah, because the odds are you're going to probably get a weapon that does, like, on average, three damage, let's say. So, and you'll be able to use it that turn. So, you're going to have three to four damage probably off the bat on average that turn. Give or takes, so you might get a two attack or you might get a seven attack. And then you could use it that turn and then the next turn. You have six damage unless they clear it for seven. So you probably have on average nine damage, three of which is coming immediately for a seven cost card. And it's a little bit of the gamble game, which everybody likes some RNG in their life. Interesting. Interesting how that works. Right down to the fucking wire. And how it all comes to an end. A classic pack with only a rare in it. As we all know. That last pack, you always wanted to be something special. And it ends like this. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. That was my 60 pack on opening. We got three legendaries. Not too bad. Now, this weekend, I'm going to be traveling. I'll be on the airplane trying to theorycraft some decks and reading online on what I can do with these cards. And then we'll make a push for Ranked in May and see where we can get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Blitz5. Peace out.